Hey, that guy looks like Asian Jay Leno. Hi folks, nice from HotAndroid.com where we get yeah. on Android every day. Today we're gonna go ahead and root the Note 4. Uh, since many of you requested it, uh, we're gonna go ahead and use the CF Auto Root by Chainfire. Uh, it's going to give you roots, but it's definitely gonna avoid your warranty because it's gonna change the NOx value. Uh, anyway, uh, if you wanna go ahead and root and void your warranty, let's go ahead and do this. If you have insurance, that's great because um, you know if you have insurance, it doesn't really matter whether you have warranty or not. Uh, you know, if something goes wrong, in the worst case, you can go ahead and pay your deductible, keep your old phone, and get a new phone. Uh, whatever the case, let's go ahead and root our note for uh, using the latest root method that's available right now. Uh, right now, currently, as of this video, there is no uh, method of installing clock mod recovery or tour recovery because it doesn't exist. The developers have to develop it. Um, but uh, if, if it is available, I should have a link to that. Follow that instead of this root method. Um, otherwise, let's go ahead and root it. Let's go do this, baby. All right, uh, we're gonna go ahead and root our Note 4 here. The first thing you'll wanna do is power off your phone and put it into download Odin mode. Um, so go ahead and power off your Note 4. I'm using a T-Mobile Note 4, but you can go ahead and use a Sprint uh, Note 4 or any of the Note 4s that's supported by Chainfire's uh, CF Auto Root. Um, right now it is supported for US Cellular, Canadian, Thailand, Hong Kong, all the Korean models, Chinese models, Asian models, international models. So uh, once you have powered off your phone, go ahead and hold down, volume down, center home, and the power in that order, hold it down until you see this warning sign let go of all the buttons all right and then go ahead and hit the volume up key there and then go ahead and connect a micro usb cable to your computer and let's go to our computer all right next you'll want to go to this uh thread on xd i'll have the link to this um basically it has all the cf auto routes available for all these different devices go ahead and click on the one you want to download uh, for example i have the t-mobile uh smn 910t so I'm gonna go ahead and download that and go ahead and hit the download link from Chainfire's website. Uh, and that should take a couple of minutes. All right, once it has downloaded, go ahead and uh, click on the CF auto root zip file and extract all the files. This will extract all the files you need uh, here into the CF blah, blah, blah dot directory, all right? All right, next we're gonna go ahead and run Odin 3v3.0.7, 3.07.exe. Double click on it, hit yes. Now, if you're using Mac or Linux, um, you can use this called Jodin, which is Java based of Odin, uh, made by XA user Adam Utler. And uh, I should have a tutorial on that, but for this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and use Windows. Um, you should see this blue highlighted uh, box with com random com number it doesn't really matter uh, if you see this you're good to go and go ahead and hit the PDA button here all right and then go ahead and click on the CF auto um, oops CF auto blah 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 the one in the same directory uh, as where you unzip all the files so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the tar.md5 open and hit start I'll show you while this is going let me go like this there we go. And you'll be able to see exactly what's going on with the phone. And this will flash, uh, basically, it'll, it'll give you root, and also it will void your warranty. You'll, it'll change your um, void uh, sign. Now again, if you have insurance, I don't really worry about it. So that's why you should get insurance, just in case something goes wrong, you screwed up your phone. Um, then you can always you know, use your insurance to get it back. And it's taking forever. All right, if that happens to you, what happened is that I use actually my USB hub, plug it into uh, something else. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into a non-USB hub. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, this happens to you all the time. It happens to me all the time. So I'm using a USB 3.0 hub, which has a problem. Uh, and you know, it just got stuck here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. Take the battery out, I mean. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the buttons again and go back into download mode. Now, if you didn't fail, you're good to go. And hit the volume up. I'm back in the download mode. It is pretty safe to take it out while it's not, if it failed or something or it hang. And I'm gonna go ahead, and this one is actually connected directly uh, to my computer instead of, you know, through my USB 3.0 hub. All right, and I get this blue comm sign again. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start again. 
And this time it should work fine. The USB hub always interferes, which sucks. And you can see going boom shakalaka. And I think this will reboot into the stock recovery or something, and then it will actually install the rooting Super SU. There you go. And the SU binaries. Now, it, there may be a chance uh, in the future uh, if the Note 4 gets updated with Android 5.0 or later, this root method might not work. Then you can go ahead and use my clock remote, uh, CWM twerp root method, which I'll post soon, as soon as that's available. By then, you sh I should have it up on my site. Um, there we go. And let me go ahead and change my camera angle. It should be rooted now. All right, let's go ahead and go into I, our app drawer here. And you should see Super SU. Make sure you run it the first time. And it may ask you to update the binaries. Um, go ahead and hit continue. If it does, hit the normal key here. Now, sometimes this can hang uh, if it hangs more than a minute. Go ahead and reboot and try it again, and it'll work just fine. And it's, it seems like it's, it might, well, give it a minute. Give it a good minute, and uh, it, sh it should work if it's going to work. There we go. And also, if it um, that worked, if it asks you to um, disable Nox, say yes. We don't need Nox. Nox is a complete BS security system that we do not need on our phones, pretty much. Um, and this one might also hang. If it hangs, uh, if it doesn't work within a minute, go ahead and reboot and open up Super SU. Try again, and it will work. And I think I may have to reboot. I'm going to give it another 10 seconds because I'm an impatient guy. Um, and yeah, screw this. I'm not waiting for Super SU hanging on me. Take control over your phone. Pull that battery, power it up, and uh, disable it. All right, here we go. And that should complete the process. The reason is that Nox interferes uh, with your root. It's supposed to be some kind of security mechanism that never works right. Um, Samsung really intended for government and uh, business agencies, and they just thought it was cool to just put it in the consumer phones. Uh, bad idea, because it doesn't really do anything. All right, here we go. And let's go to Super SU again. And it's going to ask you to disable Nox. Say OK. And this time it should work. See, it, it only took three seconds. It only that's why I got impatient. There we go. You should have full root now. Um, to check that you have full root and everything's working fine, you can go ahead and download uh, any rooted app. I like to download Titanium Backup app. Um, this app is great for backing up your apps. It also backs up your app data. Um, that way you can go ahead and tra transfer your apps to another phone if you're getting a new phone or maybe you're installing a new custom ROM, you can go ahead and back up your apps. After installing them, you can restore all of your favorite apps. And I think my Wi-Fi was changing on while it was downloading. And I think that's one of the bugs in the... Oh, it is installing. Never mind. And... Boom shakalaka. Sorry, it took a little bit. And I, I don't know what happened there. It, it tried to open like twice. Um, but if you see the super user request window, you're good to go. And hit grant and boom shakalaka. Anyway, that was how to root your Note 4 using the Chainfire CF auto root. Don't forget to donate to Chainfire for making the awesome uh, root too. And I should have another root method using clock mount recovery or tour recovery. Um, it's not available yet. And I will see you guys soon. Oh yeah. Have fun. And thanks guys for watching this video. That was how to root your Galaxy Note 4. Uh, I should work most, uh, mostly on most of the Note 4 models out there. Uh, and uh, the next part, you'll probably want to install Clock Mod Recovery or Tor Recovery. It's not available as, um, as of this video. But uh, it may be if you're watching this in a week or maybe two weeks or maybe a month or a year. Uh, then you can actually go ahead. You don't have to use Odin again. You can go ahead and use Flashify app. Uh, and then go ahead and download the uh, .img image file and install it. That's pretty much it to get Clock Mod Recovery Tor Recovery once you have a rooted Note 4. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, uh, if you have a Note 4, don't forget to sign up for my new website called GalaxyNote4Root.com. I bought it up to like GalaxyNote10Root.com, by the way. Uh, you can go ahead and sign up for the email list there. We'll have ROM the week starting probably in a couple months because the ROM development usually starts 
uh, in a couple months. I mean, I would say roughly about in a couple months, there's a couple ROMs, um, more ROMs, stable ROMs that's worth uh, flashing. But I wouldn't really flash ROMs for the first month or two because uh, everybody's all testing it out. Um, so anyway, I will see you guys soon. As always, stay on Android.